Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Amasid and today your eyes do not deceive you. We have a 1150 ish give or take divine gamble for you huge shout out to connor for providing these now it's a bit of a buffet and we've been doing a couple of these sort of quote buffet style videos uh this thing it's been fun you just kind of get like a nice little diversity of things we're doing uh particularly the diversity this league comes with the corruptions and that does not stop today we have one agus aurora two dorianis one omni four headhunters and a mage blood now this is a lot of uh, this is a lot of currency we're working with here. We've got a lot to do, um, and then we also at the end we'll just throw in a quick cheeky little uh, ten item level eighty seven for just a little bit of extra flair uh, ID on these watchers. Eyes. We'll do that after we do all the corruption. But I think let's just kick it off, and we'll start it off. We'll we'll basically go least expensive to most expensive. Uh, we'll start off with the Agus, then do the Dorianis, then we'll just go down the line. So anyway, let's kick it off. First things first, we have the Agus. We obviously had to sacrifice that to make room for the others. You guys know how this works. We had to save it. We're going to have all our luck for the future ones. Trust. Trust. Doriani's one of two. It's about a mid-tier roll. White sockets. That 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 fits for a mid-tier roll. We'll take that. Doriani's number two. Better roll. Better roll. I mean, I guess, right? Why not? We'll take that. It's nice and cool and fancy looking. Why not? Sure. Okay, this is the first of the biggies, but it's obviously not a biggie biggie compared to like the headhunters and the mage bloods, but Okay. Again, another necessary sacrifice for the headhunters. Because we have the four headhunters and a maze blood, I'm pretty sure it's just like a guarantee that we hit something good. It's just like 99 times out of hundred, right? That is impossible. Pretty much impossible. Headhunter number one. Now keep in mind these are 190 divines a piece. And now it's a skin transfer. Alas. Headhunter number two. I think this one's going to go poof. And the next one's going to be movement speed and rarity. It's my bet. That's effectively right. I was effectively right. Okay, you know, listen, you have to be honest with yourself when you're going to brick it. And you just feel it in your bones. You got to be honest with yourself. But the next one's going to be huge. Trust. Headhunter number three. Now, again, I'm... In my professional experience, and trust me, guys, I've double corrupted a lot of items. This one's going double implicit. Okay. I was wrong about this one, but next one, surely. Surely the next one, right? The last headhunter. I cannot brick or poof four headhunters, right? That's actually unbelievable. All of this means the mage blood simply must hit implicit. It simply must. I cannot poof or brick five T0 belts in a row. It, it cannot be done. The final belt. And it's the biggie. A mage blood. Four flasks mage blood. How? How? How did that happen? How? <laughs> we bricked or poofed four headhunters and a mage blood. We didn't hit a single implicit on any of the double corrupts. This is the single worst double corruption spree I've ever had. Wow. We better hit an insane watcher's eye to make up for it because this is ridiculous. Actually ridiculous. Okay. Well, after that horrifying display, let's, uh, let's hit a really insane watcher's eye, shall we? Uh, that's not it. Attack damage precision with, I mean, it's not the right vitality, but it might be worth something. We'll price check it. I'll, uh, I'll do a pause and a price check. We've got, okay, we've got this, this one, this one's something. We've got determination armor, uh, wrath conversion, damage taken, man. This is probably something. Anger, fire damage, haste, CDR, movement skill. No. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, this is something. This is certainly a jewel. Uh, values are really just all over the place at this point in the league, but this seems good inherently. We've got... Wow. Wow. You are unaffected by flammability. You're unaffected by poison. You're unaffected by vulnerability. You are immune. You're an actual god when you put this jewel on. We've got impales last with pride and purity of lightning. Okay, probably not. 
Uh, Wrath, no, no, nothing crazy there. We've got Suppression, Grace, Zealotry. Eh, it's not terrible. Might be something. And last, ooh, oh! Oh, my word! Yeah, that's a good jewel. That's a good jewel. Okay, uh, we actually do have something to price check, and uh, it's just a few of these jewels. That is a, ooh, that's a good one. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick price check on everything, although there really is nothing to check with the corruption, so that's that. But we'll check the jewels and we'll call it a day and see if we even made a percentage of our income back here. Uh, okay, we're right back. Okay, we are back. Now, I guess well, we can walk through the results, but really we're just walking through the watcher's eyes, in particular, this absolute beauty. So, these are nothing. I mean, they're gonna sell back pretty much what they paid. It's a 30% qual, that's pretty cool, but still probably roughly about what you paid. Uh, Headhunters and Mage Bloods are cool, but they are toast. Uh, they are toast. These four are worth nothing. We've got a couple that are about a divine here. This uh, damage pen with the determination, maybe like a divine, two divines. These are in the divine range here. This anger one with the vitality. Uh, pride is like roughly like 100C for that mod by itself. Um, this one here is maybe like two divines for the flat armor with the conversion and or the clarity. Uh, the suppression with the consecrated ground is, yeah, about a divine and a half. And then you have this absolute beast. Now, if this was just a Watcher's Eye video and we didn't just poof four headhunters and a mage blood or slash brick them, uh, then this would be a wild success because this is an insane jewel. Uh, so if we're just looking at the flat hatred crit and the d discipline on hit, removing the rolls, of course. We're in the, uh, what's online, it's about 130 divines. There's about five or six of them, 130 divines. When you add in the second discipline mod, the regen, which does have value, especially depending on the build, we are we are going north of that. So absolute bare minimum, like 140, 150 divines for this absolute bare minimum. But this could go, this could go to the moon. This is a really nice jewel. Will it be enough to make back the losses? No. But it is a really nice jewel, and somebody would love this thing. Um, so all in all, we'll take it. It's a it's a consolation prize, I suppose, in the win, as which is feels weird to say about such a nice jewel, but uh, it's something. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will catch you in the next one.